Y'all know me, I'm Dr. B, and this is The Buzz on Pink Eye. Conjunctivitis, meaning that the white part of the eye is red and irritated, and there can be a lot of reasons for this to happen. Most common reasons, probably infection, and you can have an eye infection with bacteria, as in this picture, or from viruses, COVID, measles, flu, all kinds of viruses can cause a viral conjunctivitis. Allergy is another common reason. The eyes get inflamed and red and itchy. And chemical irritants, like from swimming. We got a lot of people swimming around here, getting in, that, uh, getting in the pool with all those chemicals. That can irritate the eyes. And trauma, just rubbing the eye for whatever reason, can certainly make the eye look pink. But when we say pink eye, a specific little phrase, pink eye, what we're talking about usually is a bacterial infection of the conjunctiva. And that's what we're going to focus on today. Bacterial pink eye has a fast onset. It usually shows up in a matter of hours. Certainly it shows up in less than a day. Often the child awakens with an eye crusted shut. And that's the first thing we hear. Well, everything was fine last night. Woke up and his eye was just matted shut. Usually this shows up in just one eye. Although if the kid rubs at it, then it's going to spread to both eyes. So if it's been there for more than a day or two, and the kid's rubbing at it, you, you should expect to see it in both eyes. If you see that it first comes on in both eyes at once, it's more likely going to be allergy related or a chemical irritation. Also, if there's a lot of itching or sneezing or watery discharge from the eyes, think allergy. Don't think bacterial infection right away. Usually with bacterial infections, there's a lot of purulence, meaning a pus-like drainage coming from the eye. And there may be some mild swelling of the eyelids and some mild redness around the eye. So when we start evaluating this in the office, what we're gonna to wanna to know is a little bit of history. How long has it been there? Did it start in one eye or in both eyes? Has anyone else been sick around the patient? Has the patient been swimming? Has the patient have allergies? Has the child uh, been rubbing at the eyes or did they get hit in the eye or getting some kind of uh, dust or dirt in the eye? Those are the kind of things we're gonna to wanna to know. And then when we do the exam, we're gonna look at the eyes, obviously. We're gonna look in the ears because a lot of times, Eye infections can be associated with ear infections. Look in the throat, listen to the lungs, look at the skin, see if there's any sign of allergy, that sort of thing. Usually we don't need to do any kind of testing and can tell just from the exam and history whether or not this is bacterial and what kind of treatment is necessary. My favorite drug to prescribe for bacterial pink eye is called Polytrim. Polytrim is a combination of trimethoprim and polymyxin B, which are two antibiotics. It's very easy to use, it doesn't sting the eyes, and it's pretty cheap, even if you don't have insurance, it's usually pretty affordable. You gotta make sure though that you wash your hands before and after putting these drops in there. We use one to two drops in the affected eye four times a day. Usually the first day I recommend putting them in both eyes just to make sure that we uh, don't allow this to spread. And then you can just stick to the one eye that has been bothering them. And this should clear up bacterial eye infection in just a couple days. Now, you don't have to get the drops directly on the eye. A lot of parents call us uh, an hour after the visit and they say, I just cannot get these on the eye. What you can do in that case is have the child look one way or turn their head and pull on that skin and just get them in that little valley there, that little sulcus right there. As long as it gets between the eyelids, it will get in the eye and it'll work fine. The other thing you can do is have them lie on their back and they'll have their eyes closed probably. Put three or four drops right here, pull their eye open, and it should get in there once the eye is open. Hopefully you can get them to just open their eye on their own. Make sure you don't touch the bottle to their face or to their eye. If you do, you're gonna have to wipe it off with some alcohol because bacteria will grow on the bottle and then you're just gonna infect everyone. Another good idea is to use a hot compress on the eye. Make sure you're using a clean cloth each time. Hot compress, that'll help kill off the bacteria. A bacterial conjunctivitis is very contagious, so hand hygiene is key. Also surface hygiene, wiping down surfaces the child might have been around. Uh, changing the sheets, towels, pillowcases once the child has started being treated, and no going back to school until it has been treated for 24 hours and the child is improving. If they're not improving, do not send them back to school and give us a call, let us know what's going on. One of the worst things that can happen if this infection doesn't get under control right away is a deeper bacterial infection around the eye called preceptal cellulitis, or even worse than that, an infection 
in the eye socket itself called orbital cellulitis. So if you see anything like this with this redness and swelling and puffiness, usually this is very tender, make sure to get this seen right away. And certainly if the eye is not getting better, even if it doesn't look this bad, if it's not getting better after a day or two, get it rechecked by your doctor. Now pink eye is pretty gross, but usually we can get it under control in about 24 hours, so don't lose sleep over it. Y'all know me, I'm Dr. B, and this has been The Buzz on Parenting and Pediatrics. We'll see you next time.